Sai Ram students, welcome back. Let us continue with second chapter of geography. Let us use the gratitude. But before we start the new point, let us take a short recap of the previous video. What is latitude? The horizontal lines on the globe are called latitude. Latitude is an angle which ranges from 0 degree at the equator to 90 degree at the pole. Lines of constant latitude or parallels run east to west as circles parallel to the equator. Constant means occurring continuously and parallel means with the same distance as you have studied in mathematics. Now the next what is longitude? The vertical lines on the globe are called longitude or longitude is defined in terms of meridians which are half circles running from north pole to the south pole. Longitude is measured in degrees. Now the next point was hemisphere. What is hemisphere? Any circle drawn around the earth divided into two equal parts called hemisphere. There are generally considered to be four hemisphere, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. For example, the equator or line of 0 degrees latitude divides the earth into the northern and southern hemisphere. Now students, this is the world map shown on the miniature model of earth that is a globe. The horizontal lines on it are called latitude and the vertical lines on it are called longitude. We can see oceans and some countries located. Now the next you had studied was the location and the extent. While describing the location of a place only one parallel and one meridian is considered. While describing the extent of a region two parallels and two meridians at the extreme end of the region are considered. While describing the extent of the linear features like a river, road etc. the latitude and longitude of their terminal points are considered. Terminal point means the end points. Now the next you had studied was important parallels and meridian. This figure shows important circles and their degrees. 
Now let us see in detail important parallels and meridians. Tropic of Cancer The parallel at 23 degree 30 minute north of equator is called the Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Capricorn The parallel at 23 degree 30 minutes south of equator is called the Tropic of Capricorn. Attic Circle The parallel at 66 degree 30 minute north of equator is called Arctic Circle. Antarctic Circle The parallels of 66 degree 30 minutes south of equator is called Antarctic Circle. Now the North Pole, the parallel of 90 degree north of equator is called the North Pole. And the last was the South Pole, the parallel at 90 degree south of equator is called the South Pole. And now students, we are going to do the map reading. Answer the following question about location and extent with the help of map of Brazil. This is the map and the first question which latitude and longitude define the location of the capital of Brazil, Brasilia. Now, how you will find the answer? Students, we have learned before latitude means horizontal lines and longitude means vertical lines. Now, students, try to find the answer. Okay, I will help you out. 16 degree south latitude and 48 degree west longitude defines the location of the capital of Brazil, Brasilia. Now the next. Question 2. What would be the longitudinal extent of Brazil that spreads from 5 degree 15 minutes north to 33 degree 45 minutes south latitude. Yes, try to find the answer. Yes, I will help you out. 73 degree 59 minutes west to 34 degree 47 minutes west longitude would be the longitudinal extent of Brazil that spreads from 5 degree 15 minutes north to 33 degree 45 minutes south latitude. Now the next question. Question 3. In which hemisphere does Brazil extend in the north-south direction? Yes. Find the answer. North-south direction. Yes. The answer is Brazil extends in the northern and the southern hemisphere in the north-south direction. Now the fourth question. In which hemisphere does Brazil extend in the east-west direction? You know east-west, 
yes to your right hand side is the west and to your left hand side is the east try to find the answer from the map yes i will help you brazil extends in the western hemisphere in the east west direction now the fifth question which parallels and meridians should be used to describe the extent of river san francisco can you find from the map find the river yes and the answer is from 21 degree south parallels and 47 degree 30 minutes west meridians to 7 degree 30 minutes south parallels and 36 degree 30 minutes west meridians should be used to describe the extent of rivo san francisco now the next question question 6 describe the location of marajo island using the graticule now you are going to use the graticule and find the answer yes ha huh, the answer is location of marajo island using graticule can be described as follows 0.04 minute north parallels and 51 degree west meridian yes now we will see the next map reading we are going to observe the map of india question is observe a map of india and answer the following questions given below this is a map of india you might already have the atlas so if this picture is not clear you can take your atlas and see from there first question which important parallel passes through india yes can you find the answer yes and the answer is the tropic of cancer passes through india the tropic of cancer you can see on your right hand side students our next question question 2 which areas of india do not get perpendicular sun rays yes think about the answer which area yes and the answer is the northern area of india that are to the north of the tropic of cancer do not get perpendicular ray and the next question is question 3 which region of india receives perpendicular rays on two days in a year and what would be the answer yes the answer is the southern region of india that is to the south of the tropic of cancer receives perpendicular rays on the two days in a year means for the two days they receive the perpendicular rays and our next question for this map is question 4 in which region of india is the temperature comparatively low what do you think which region it will be yes in the northern region of the india the temperature is comparatively low because it receives less sun rays 
Now the next map we are going to read is Vatican City. This is the map of Vatican City. Vatican City is known as the smallest country in the world. It is spread over an area of 0.44 square kilometer. This country is located within Italy on the Italian peninsula. See the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of this country in the map from west to east and also from the north to south. There is no difference in the degrees or minutes of the latitude or longitude. But the difference is only in seconds. You can see to your left hand side above and to your right hand side below. You can see the difference. Yes, students? Shall we proceed? Okay. From this, you will get an idea about the use of smaller units of minutes and seconds in the angular measurements. And now the next we are going to learn is temperature zones. Due to the duration and intensity of sunlight, different temperature zones are formed on the earth. And so, this gives rise to pressure belt. Temperature zones gives rise to pressure belt. And the next point is, what is diversity in plants and animal life? Now students, what is diversity? Diversity means the wide range in plants and animal life. Variation in the intensity of sunlight temperature zones leads to regional diversity in plants and animals. And our next is Greenwich Meridian. Now students, what is Greenwich Meridian? The zero degree longitude or prime meridian helps to fix the global standard time and coordinate the standard times of different countries. This meridian is also known as Greenwich Meridian. Global standard time is known as GMT. GMT means abbreviation of Greenwich Mean Time. Now our next point is the International Date Line. It is also called as IDL. The abbreviation of International Date Line is IDL. L. The international date line is marked with reference to 180 degree meridian. Next is what is great circles. The equator as well as all pairs of opposite meridian form great circles. Great circles are used for finding the minimum distance between any two places on the surface of the earth. Yes, students, you understood up to here? Now, what we have learned today, shall we do the recap? Temperature zone and pressure belt. Diversity in plants and animal life, Greenwich Meridian, 
the international date line and great circle and now let's do the activity fill in the blanks first fill the blank dash is known as the smallest country in the world second fill the blank temperature zone give rise to third fill the blank zero degree meridian is called the dash and the fourth one is dash and dash are two important meridians yes try to find the answer come on recollect just now we have studied everything okay i will help you out first is vatican city is known as the smallest country in the world second temperature zone gives rise to pressure belt zero degree meridian is called the greenwich meridian fourth zero degree meridian and 180 degree meridian are two important meridians okay students i hope so you understood so thank you sai ram